So conditions are pretty muddy, pretty soft here this morning. Pump guy is going to have to go up over the house into the back door. You're a little concerned about the truck tipping, so we had to put a few extra sheets of plywood under that so we wouldn't tip. So hopefully we'll see what happens. This is the only access for us down back. Had a lot of rain lately. This is it. Yeah, both. We want to wait. Just make sure Randy's ready before we let he gets in there. And makes it too long. All ready, Randy. That angle don't help yeah. either. That's, I know, help. Yeah. I'll be about a seven. Seven? Yeah. Alright. We're ready to go. We gotta get down over the house. Down into the north. What we're gonna do now is we gotta prime, we gotta prime that pump out. A lot of times when the concrete gets in there and it drops like that, it separates and it'll plug the pump. So he put a chemical in there called Slick Willy. That's supposed to prime that pump, that line, allow the concrete to go through it. But we don't like getting that Slick Willy in the floor, so we're gonna pump it out right there first. We'll take that. We're gonna get it in there. Get any more or no? Yeah. Gonna get a little more, Harvey. Give it ten more, please.
<laughs> well, Haley didn't have like some drivers, we're going to have to do even more. We did have a line on those, but if we have to bury them, we'll bury them. Yeah, a little bit more if you can, yeah. Oh, you maybe you can get over that one. It's got a line there too low. So as you can see the pump operator did a good job getting the boom over the house so we could get as much of that line into the basement as possible and right now everything's going smooth. Yeah, I just want to make sure we got enough to get a pad on each one of those. Hope oh, that's kink. Oh. Now you can go to your left. Hey, I wanted you guys to check out these new boots I'm wearing from Hisea.com. They're steel toe work boots. I can wear them right into the concrete, which is pretty awesome. So I'll have a link for them down in the description, guys, with a discount coupon. Make sure you check them out. Hey, Luke, can you help me strike this and I'll get around those pipes? Now, if the concrete looks a little loose, it, it is. We, I order it with a water reducer in it that lets us bump the slump up to like a 7-inch slump, but it doesn't affect the strength at all. So it's kind of like a super plasticizer. So we can pour a pretty loose slump, makes our pouring quite a bit easier and just a little faster. You need help? Is he... You got anything else for me? You got boats? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good, thanks. We, we squeeze it up there to try to stop this dripping. If there's any more puddles, maybe you could help. Yeah, I can. I can There's a squeegee out there, but you don't have a wet wet back, do you? Oh, okay. I mean, we think it'll stop. It's gonna stop, or we're gonna have a mess. Yeah, no, I'll go grab it. Okay, thanks. Like a little bit of blue ice about a couple inches on the top. Yeah. Oh, it's still like a, over a foot of ice. Yeah. It hasn't been that warm, really. You know, it's always a little bit of a struggle pouring these basement floors in the winter. You know, you're fighting the the cold temperatures that are below freezing. Um, we got a heated space in here. If you can see, look at the concrete walls. Look how wet they are. That's from using the heater. The heater just draws the moisture right through the walls from the outside. And what happens is now that we got the concrete in there, there's so much humidity that the walls just start dripping. And you got to deal with that as you're finishing. Yeah. 
That's Harvey there in the orange. Harvey works for himself, but he comes in and helps us when we ask. It's like having two extra guys, really, when Harvey's there. So you guys, give give Harvey a shout-out down in the comments, you know, say hi. And I just want him to know that we appreciate him every time he comes on the job. It's always nice to have that extra help. Pump just a little bit there, then you can take off. Or pump your hopper out somewhere. Maybe over there, yeah. Take that one hand off. Gonna need a little bit, we might need a shovel. Or a come along, whatever. Funny. Kind of misjudged pulling them out too early, but we've got plenty right here we can put in there. The winter. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. work all winter? Well, we're not as busy, but it was pretty yeah. heavy. They've been able to find anybody to apply for new jobs? No. Makes it hard, yeah. Let's yeah, see, so you get just random tested once in a while, don't you? Oh yeah, you never know when they'll call. I like to call the end of the day and have three of us here tomorrow morning. Really? Guys, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe. Also, check out this video that's popping up right here. We'll see you on the next one.